Following on from the previous video, we were trying to work out the, uh, the equation of this tangent line and the equation of this normal line. We've done the tangent line and it gave us the equation. It gave us this equation. It gave us uh, this equation. So, so this would be our gradient here. This would be our intercept. So we've done the tangent line. Whenever, whenever you have an equation of a tangent line, um, if you want to know, if you want to come up with an equation that is at 90 degrees to, to your, to your line, uh, then, then you would look at the gradient. So this is a, this is a, um, this is a gradient for our tangent line. If you want, if you want to know the gradient that, that is at 90 degrees to, to your line, you would, you would take the, the, uh, the negative reciprocal of this. So take the reciprocal, that would be this, and then stick a minus in front of it. Now the equation of this line here, uh, sorry, the, the gradient of this line here would be this. And it, it, for some reason it would be at 90 degrees. Because if, if you look at this, hang on, suppose you have, um, suppose you have a line where it has a height of 3, the across of 2. So this is your, this is your line here. Then, so, so at the moment the gradient is 3 over 2. So if you look at 2 over 3, um, so you have a height of 2, let's say you have a height of 2, and then the across of 3, then for some reason, for some reason, this line here will be at 90 degrees to, uh, to your line. So if you, if you want something that's at 90 degrees to your line, take the reciprocal, that will then give you this, but because it's going downhill, then stick a minus in front of it. So going back to here, so this is our, this is the equation of our tangent line. We want something that's at 90 degrees to our tangent line. Well, the, something that's at 90 degrees to our tangent line would be, well, we, we would need to extract the, equa uh, the, uh, the gradient of this line. So we would look at this, take minus the reciprocal of this. So that would be this. That would be this. So our normal line, hang on. Our normal line, we know the, the gradient will be, we know, our, our normal line will be y equals mx plus c. Uh, but we know the gradient will be minus 2 root a. That will be, we, we just know that the, the gradient will be, uh, will be minus 2 root a. So now, hang on, going back to here, we know that, the, we know that our gradient will be minus, uh, minus 2 root a. And, and we, 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 we know the gradient, m, m, x plus c. We know the gradient, and we know it passes one particular point. This point here will be a, root uh, a comma root a so so we know the gradient of our of our normal line we know the gradient and we know it passes one particular point therefore we can come up with the equation of our of our normal line so let's start again our normal line will be in the form of y equals mx plus c we know the gradient will be this and we know it passes one particular point a comma root a so this is our x this is our y so we can put this into our x and we can put this into our y. So that will then give us this. Uh, this thing here will then give us this thing here. That will then take us to here. So now it's just a matter of finding out c. So um, so add this whole thing to both sides. So that will then give you this. You could tidy this up if you want to, but um, for me, I'm just going to leave it. So so the equation of our uh, of our normal line would be given by this. Okay. So if you get a graph plotter and plot uh, square root of x. That will then give you square root of x. That will then give us this. Um, plot plot the uh, the equation for the tangent line, uh, and then and then punch this into your graphical calculator. That will then give you this line here. And then if, if you slide a back and forth, if you slide back a back and forth, um, no matter where a is, suppose a is here, it will automatically draw draw the cross for you. Suppose a is here, then uh, then it will automatically draw the cross for you. Try it with a graphical calculator. Okay? Well, this is the equation of our normal line.